what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So as you can see, we got car mods and some garage mods. Uh, so I guess I'll just show you the new cabinet. Uh, I've always wanted a, a really tall cabinet to kind of house my microfibers and just kind of get some stuff. I had a bunch of stuff on the wall over here. Um, and I just wanted to kind of get it away. Uh, I picked this up from Home Depot. It's Husky. It matches my toolbox, the same finish, the black uh, with the black handles, really nice. The um, upper cabinets are Gladiator. They're okay, they're really cheap. I think they were like 200, 150 bucks, 200 bucks each um, when I got them. But they do have Husky ones like this, so I might upgrade or get ones that match. But either way, they're all black. It works for now. But I picked this up, it was a really good deal, Black Friday deal. Um, I think it was like $150 off. Normally this is, I think about 500 bucks or so. Um, and I got it on sale for 350 at Home Depot. So this is just the initial, you know, organization. I'm gonna do a lot more, but I kind of got all my microfibers lined up and car wash stuff, uh, just some random things here and there. But I figured I would show you that. It's a cool little update, just to clean things up in the garage a little bit. Uh, but it is really nice. I mean, it's, I was really impressed with the quality of it. I mean, I love my toolbox. I absolutely love it. And I knew this was something that I was gonna really enjoy. Um, there's a lot of other brands out there, but I wanted something to match the toolbox. So that is why I went with Husky, but definitely suggest it if you guys, I don't know if it's still on sale, but check it out at Home Depot. Um, definitely recommend it. Obviously you guys are more interested in the car mods because that's kind of what you watch the channel for, for the STI. Um, so kind of self-explanatory here. I already explained these in another video. I got an IAG AOS, the V3 version, which is the newest version. Uh, I got the black color. I wanted to get a custom color. I wanted to get white to match my engine bay. But with everything going on with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I don't even know if IAG does custom colors. But if it really does bother me in the future, I could always get it powder coated to, you know, to the white that I really do want. Uh, but either way, it's going to function the exact same way. So let's just take a look real quick, see what we got. Um, this is the new V3 version, which is a much smaller unit. Um, well, I wouldn't say much smaller, but it is a smaller unit. You know, each version keeps getting better and better. You know, they just learn from, you know, previous models. It's definitely upgraded to, you know, much better install, um, a little bit simpler. And I'll go over a few of those in a sec. One of the things I really loved about the V3 kit is it actually comes with clamps. Um, I, there is some zip ties here, uh, but I believe it's just to, you know, clean some things up. But the actual hoses on here, um, I'm pretty sure you actually use clamps, which is really, really nice. Can't really see them, but they're kind of in there. Um, I wasn't crazy about the V2 version where you're literally zip tying hoses to, you know, important coolant and oil lines and stuff like that. Um, and that, that kind of always scared me. So seeing that they upgraded that with the V3 is really nice. So let's open up the box and kind of just you know, see what's in here. Um, you get some heat shielding. This is, uh, you put it over the hoses, I believe in certain areas where it gets warm. So, um, you know, there's no heating issues or anything like that. I'm not really sure what the V2 came with because I never had one. So um, I'm not a hundred percent, but let's take out the main event, the thing that you guys actually want to see, you know, and here is just hoses, <laughs> nothing too exciting, but here's the actual AOS, the V3 version, super nice. The quality of this thing is insane. And one of the really nice things about it is the uh, fittings on the bottom here. They actually have a swivel joint. The other ones, the V2 version, it's it was literally just, I think, a port like this. You put the hose on and you had a zip tie it. But these um, actually have swivel joints on them. You don't have to worry about mounting them. Um, they're already ready to go. And you can position them to wherever you need it. You get a really clean install. I really like that because you know, that's underneath. Um, so having them in the right spot and making sure those things are connected properly is a little tough. So if you look on the side here, um, it actually comes with a new bracket. So there's a lot more mounting choices, uh, which is really nice because uh, I'm running the Perrin uh, strut bar and I want this to sit under the, under the strut bar. So that was one of my main concerns about going with this one, uh, but I got some confirmation that it actually does fit. So um, I'm really happy about that. But yeah, this thing is absolutely beautiful, really nice quality. The craftsmanship is amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this on the car um, just to prolong the longevity of my motor. Uh, this is something that pretty much everybody that follows me has been telling me to get for a long time now. I finally bit the bullet on their Block Friday. Um, yeah, had a really big sale, it was 10% off. Uh, it wasn't crazy, I think it was only about 30, 40 bucks or so, but uh, I figured if, hey, it's a sale and I wanted one, might as well get it. So ended up getting one. 
Again, I'm still debating on whether to do this install myself and do a video on it or go to a very reputable shop and get it done uh, where, you know, somebody that's actually done one before and knows all the ins and outs and exactly what to do. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of want to challenge myself and, uh, you know, obviously make a video for you guys. I think that'd be really helpful. But I don't know. This is a pretty intimidating install. I'm pretty handy when it comes to, you know, working on cars, but adding new coolant lines and oil lines and stuff like that and connecting certain things. That scares me a little bit and uh, especially with these motors you know it's always it's always a little sketchy uh, doing this kind of stuff but i don't know um I'll, maybe i'll get some motivation and <laughs> get it done over the holiday or something like that i'm not sure but either way absolutely beautiful unit i'm looking forward to getting this on all right so next up as you can see pretty long box uh, i went over this in another video like i said um, this is actually a new front grill this is actually the type or style of grill that i wanted from the beginning when i first did the 2018 uh, or 2020 bumper conversion. Um, I really like this style. I think it looks really aggressive. And I just kind of bite the bullet on one. At the time, every single one that I wanted was either out of stock or, you know, next shipment they were getting in was not for a few months. Um, so I actually was talking to uh, a fellow Instagrammer, some, you know, somebody with a WRX. Um, and they reached out and said, hey, you know, what kind of grill are you looking for? They hooked me up with somebody. Um, their main account is WRX Daily. Uh, they have a pretty big following. Really, really cool guy. His name is Mark. Uh, he actually has a website, WRXDaily.com. He has a lot of really cool stuff. And one of the things that they do have is this carbon fiber grill. Um, and they, you know, it was, it was on sale and everything. So I was like, you know what? Let me scoop it up. Let me try it out and see if I like it. Like I said, it was a good deal. Um, so I figured I'd make a video for you guys and kind of go over everything and uh, you know, let you know how it is, but let's open it up. I'm actually going to install this tonight. I'm not going to do a whole walkthrough, but I guess more of a, um, you know, just showing you installing it and everything. But I believe this is the mesh grill or the, uh, actual insert. There's a lot of these out there, a ton of them. <laughs> um, and I think they're all pretty much made in the same place. They're all very similar. Obviously, there's a couple different ones like, um, you know, Saibon, um, Charge Speed, which is crazy expensive. But, um, but all the basic ones that you see, they're all very, very similar. And I'm willing to bet they all come from the same place. All right, so here's the mesh that goes in the grill. I actually like this style better. I don't like when it's bigger. I like the smaller mesh type. I think it looks a little cleaner. Um, you know, it doesn't look as noticeable. I think this is metal. Yeah, this is metal. This is not plastic. This is nice. But this is actually the same material that's in the um, carbon fiber fender vents that I have in, in the engine bay. So this is the same stuff, which is nice. Kind of makes everything look unison and the same. All right, so let's take out the actual grill. Put that box aside. Now let's be... This actually has a nice weight to it, which I was surprised. <laughs> not that I'm really looking to cut weight or anything like that. You know, carbon fiber, but... Most likely this is just, you know, fiberglass wrapped in carbon fiber because that's what most of the stuff is. You know, real carbon fiber pieces are few and far between. And if they are, they're very, very expensive. Oh man, that is really nice. It does look like it's a fiberglass, you know, surround actually just wrapped in carbon fiber, which I'm okay with. It's not a big deal. It's just a grill, something too fancy or crazy. Uh, but the weave looks really good. No, real, no weird imperfections or anything like that. Definitely can use a polish though. There's kind of an area, I guess it's hard to see on camera, but here it's a little, little hazy, which is not a big deal. I can just polish that out. You'll see all these little metal tabs. That's actually what hooks into the, uh, the mesh that holds it in. Uh, but overall, it looks really, really nice. That's the worst part about the 2018 plus bumper is the opening here. There's no mesh. So I get all that. <laughs> I remember I went through a, someone was, uh, oh, there's another one down here. Someone was actually leaf blowing their property into the street, a major, you know, like a busy street. And uh, it was like a huge pile of leaves and 
you know, I was forced to drive through it. That's what happens when people are stupid, <laughs> but got those out. So now we're going to actually uh, remove this grill. I'm actually running the OLM uh, JDM style grill with the uh, OLM carbon trim. It's a really, really nice grill. I do like it a lot, but I really wanted to try the newer style or the new style for me, because uh, that's originally what I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead, unscrew all those screws behind there, pop the new one in and see how it looks. Got it installed. Uh, I really didn't get any clip. Well, I didn't get any clips of me really putting it on. Um, the fitment is okay. There definitely was some fitment issues, especially along the top up here. Um, it kind of bowed down a little bit. Uh, but honestly, after, you know, getting all the, uh, the screws in and everything, it pulled right up and it's fine. Um, it actually fits, you know, after, after some manipulation, it definitely fits really well. Um, it's just a matter of getting it in the right spot and you just have to put a lot of pressure uh, up on you know on this part to get it to to screw in what I did is I started completely on the bottom Because um, that that part lined up really well, so I screwed that in I didn't want to mess with that fitment then I kind of worked on the sides So this whole entire part right here was screwed in then with everything kind of bolted down here I was able to work on the top and it wasn't tugging around here because this was staying in spot in place um, So then I eventually just put the screws there and around I'll go around and show you what I, what I did I ended up having to put a few more self taps in just you know for reassurance um, just to kind of pull some areas in just where I thought it was kind of, you know, bowing a little bit. But honestly, if we get up close, you can see the fitment is really, really great. Um, obviously, after the manipulation, fits really nice here on the bottom. Fits really well. There's no gaps or anything. Um, over here, kind of bumps out a little bit. I might put another self-tapper in around here somewhere to pull it in more. Uh, but otherwise, fits really nice, and I'm happy with it. For the price, I really kind of beat it. Um, you know, other ones are way more expensive, but um, honestly, I'm really digging this look. Uh, I think it's going to look really nice. You know, I had carbon around here to begin with, but now it's just a little bit more uh, and it's not too over the top and it's really clean. I also added the uh, STI badge right here. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to add that or not, but since I removed the, um, the, the emblem there, which I might still put in, Charge Speed actually sells a mount that you can use on this, on this type of grill. So I'm thinking about picking one of those up and trying it out. Uh, but honestly, I mean, I kind of like the no emblem look. It looks really aggressive to me. Um, and I think it just looks really clean. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to get it back on the car and see how, you know, obviously how it looks on the car. But overall, really pleased with how the uh, the fitment ended up coming out. I had to do, oh yeah, before I put it back on, let me show you in the back. So those are all rusty, but... Hey, whatever. Um, so what I ended up doing, um, I used some washers around each so there was a little bit better grip onto the screws. Uh, but you can see, where was it? Yeah, up here, um, I wasn't able, I tried screwing one in there and the actual mounting point right there kind of just broke. <laughs> I mean, it's fiberglass, so it's kind of expected. Um, so I ended up putting a self-tapper on the side right there and it pulled it in really nicely. Um, down here was okay. I had, oh, right here was another one, another issue. The mount on the grill actually cracked as well since it's fiberglass. So I put some uh, self tappers on either side and it pulled it in nicely. Uh, but everything else, you know, it's in the original mounting holes. There's no, nothing crazy like those two. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what you got to expect with these kind of grills. You know, not everything fits perfectly. And that's kind of the, the fun of modifying a car. <laughs> um, obviously, if you're paying a little bit more like a charge speed or something like that, uh, which is $800, um, you know, you're going to get some pretty decent fitment. At least I would hope so if spending that much, but you know, this was, this was, you know, around 300 bucks. Um, so, you know, it's not too bad, but overall, I'm really happy with the look, you know, obviously no, no one's going to see the backside, so it doesn't matter. And it's in there really, really well. Um, so I'm not worried about it flying off. It's actually in better than the previous grill. So <laughs> I'm not worried about that at all, but yeah, looks really good. Um, I'll link it below if anybody is interested in picking it up. I will say you're gonna have to do some manipulation up here, but as you can see, it fits really well after you get the uh, self taps in and everything and, and it looks really good. So let's get it on the car and uh, wrap this video up. All right, there we have it. Really do like this look. I think it was really aggressive. Really happy with the fitment. <laughs> like I said, it took some manipulation up here. Overall, it turned out really well. I think it looks really good. I really like the subtle STI badge there. Hardly see it, but definitely a cool little touch. But yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the other grill? Do you like this one? Either way, I think they both look really nice, but I was just ready for a change. Uh, and this is a style that I wanted to try ever since I got the front bumper. And I think it kind of flows really nicely with the hood scoop and everything. And I'll link this grill below for you guys as well if you are interested in picking it up. It's really nice. It looks really good. And I think you guys will really enjoy it as well. So click the link if you guys are interested in picking it up. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them below. In the meantime, keep it clean. Keep it simple. Catch you in the next one. And you can visit, and you can visit position, and you can position them to wherever you need it.